All children, all children should be screened for possible heart related conditions. That's according to new guidelines just released this week from the American Academy of Pediatrics. It says that these screenings are vital for children and not just those who play sports. So the guidelines say that screenings are particularly important for children as they enter middle school. It also recommends that they are incorporated in regular exams every two to three years at least, and that doctors should recommend an electrocardiogram if there is a concern. Joining me this morning via Zoom is Dr. Randy Thornton. He is a pediatrician with Wilson Children's and Jacksonville Pediatrics. Good morning, doctor. Thanks for joining us again. Appreciate it. Oh, sure. So let's talk a little bit about this. Uh, first of all, for our viewers not familiar, how would you explain sudden cardiac death? Well, it's um, one of the scariest things parents can ever encounter is their child just collapses for no apparent reason. They're, you know, the classic things, they're on the basketball court or the football field and just collapse uh, for uh, just the scariest, um, scariest time. And frequently sudden cardiac death results in death if CPR or an AED is not used immediately. Correct. It's the faster we can respond to this, uh, the the better. So having that availability of an AED or CPR, having people know CPR is critical because it can save the life. The earlier, the better. Even if people don't know CPR, is to at least call 911 right away and then start chest compressions. It does it does help even if they're not trained. And I think that it's important to point out that sudden cardiac death is 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 unusual in young adults and in children. But the reality is, is one is just too many when it comes to our precious children. That's correct. That's why it's so important uh, to start screening children because the only way we can find out is start asking the question. So in the you know, former days, we always just concentrated on athletes. And now the recommendation is to screen everybody with questions such as, have you ever fainted? Have you ever had uh, chest pain with exercise. Is there a family history of, um, is there a family history of sudden death, uh, especially under age 50? Or is there a family history of certain heart conditions? So by asking these questions, we can certainly advance and screen those children for, um, uh, for problems. It's interesting because the American Academy of Pediatrics really just released this, and I think the significant part is all children and not just athletes, but it seems like a no-brainer, right? It makes you wonder, I mean, have pediatricians really not been asking these questions previously? Well, we, we have, and it's really been, the, the emphasis has been on athletes because that's where we always assume the problem was. But if there is a family history of problems such as a cardiac arrhythmia, an abnormal heartbeat that can be detected easily on an EKG, um, if that is in the family, the children ought to be screened because it could lead to problems. Or if there is a known heart condition, every child ought to be screened. And the thing to be aware is children that have passed out or fainted are not necessarily that is not necessarily due to a heart condition, could just be being overheated or dehydrated. But those are the ones we really want to investigate and make sure that it is not the heart. And, and I think that one, one of the reasons I felt so strongly about having you on the show is, is that so much of this is also about it, it, reminding the parents about the importance of the communication they need to have with their son or daughter to make sure that that son or daughter is telling their parent so that the parent can bring this up during, during you know, any kind of an exam because there are some kids who are so worried about not being able to play because they might say something and their mom or dad will keep them out of that game. And the reality is, is they've got to have that conversation. That is so true. If the um, if the kids will only tell the parents there's a problem, it can be investigated, and many times it turns out to be nothing and perfectly fine. But uh, at other times, it is so important to pick this up and to have them tested and perhaps referred to the pediatric cardiologist. And and it's a simple exam, the electrocardiogram. I had to have this for my child when he fainted, and it turned out to be nothing. But the reality is, is now you know, right? And you and you know when you have to worry. My own daughter, uh, she did. She fainted at a tennis match, and it scared us. And uh, it turned out she just needed to drink more. But it it can happen, and it's worth investigating because it could have been so much worse. Dr. Thornton, thank you for your time this morning. We really appreciate it. You're welcome.